Hey everybody, welcome back to the Mom's View. Hey ladies. Hey. Hi, Tolette. So we're just gonna start off with our updates first. How have you been? How are you feeling? I I know how you're feeling kind of actually. We know. maybe don't need to go into it. You've been a look pregnant. Like She's a so, poser. That's a lie. I feel She's like so my belly skinny. always looks bigger than yours. Whatever, you guys both Kaylee. look amazing. It looks like I stole someone's bowling ball. <laughs> <laughs> I robbed them of their strike. <laughs> yeah, this pregnancy has been so weird because I, I mean, I definitely feel like my belly is big, but I feel like I can feel her inside more than anything. Like I'm mm. carrying her kind of in, I feel like which you is are. so uncomfortable. Yeah. Like and more towards your spine, like mm -hmm. just like more in and like, so my, everything is squashed and I can't breathe. And it's like, yeah. it's like, I can't eat. Every time I eat, I get like, not nauseous, uh -huh. but I just like start to feel like almost like dizzy. Like I'm just too full. Yeah. You know that feeling just yeah. like, like everything's just too tight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's been Another interesting. Family. Yeah. Um, another update that I feel like I need to mention because we've gotten a lot of questions yeah. and we did put a video up is Bronx died. Mm -hmm. it's and so that's sad. been really, really sad and hard for our family. But I'm very, very grateful for the comments. I feel like all of you who have commented and left so much love and support and memories that you have of Bronx and you know, just things that you loved about him has helped more than I could ever say. Like, it has pulled me out of like really sad days. It's pulled our family out of really sad days just to know that he had an impact on so many people's yeah. lives. Like, yeah. you know, just like this happy dog. And I don't know. So that's been so appreciated and I'm so grateful. And yeah, it's been really, really hard. Yeah. But. Yeah. Yeah. Can't even talk about it. We, when you came in earlier, we were, I was already crying. I'm like, oh no. I know. I know. I feel like I've cried so much that he was just such like a, the happiest dog. Yeah, he loved was. Even with everybody. Three he was yeah. so happy. I know. I know. I've thought a lot about his life because he did go through so much. And when we moved up here, we were so excited for our dogs to finally have mm -hmm. all of yeah. this room to just run and run because before that we were in California and the yards were small and they couldn't run. And, and then you know, he ran away all the time because he was like was such a good dog, but he was <laughs> mischievous and he was like, I'm out of here. He always came home, but then, you know, he lost his leg, like which was cool. terrible and he had a rough life, but he was such a happy, good dog. And yeah. I always felt like we didn't deserve him because he was just so good to us. Mm -hmm. and That's why dogs are better than human beings. They, they really literally are. are. Yeah. Oh, They're more awesome. loyal and just more like compassionate and you can do no wrong to a dog. They just love you no matter what. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, but we miss them a lot. But I just wanted to thank everyone because it made a huge, huge difference hearing from you. So, thank you. I have not an update after that. <laughs> <laughs> like we should just let that stand. <laughs> Well, in other news, I did get to fill your baby kit. Oh, yeah, today? <laughs> that was exciting. I was like, oh. Freaking out. It's so weird. I'll fill him like down here, up here, down here at the same time. It's like he's like, <gasps> like there's a party going on in there. <laughs> What's going on? I can't wait for him to be born to see if he's just like a little wild guy. I feel like he's <laughs> going to be wild. Like yeah. it's late at night when I feel him being so wild. I'm like, oh, great. Is that true? Like if they're wild in the womb, um, they come out. I don't remember Cooper being that wild. I yeah. feel like. They were all, they all go in phases where it's yeah. like, woo. Mm -hmm. And like the same pattern yeah. that he's awake in the womb, does that mean he's going to be on that same pattern when he Let's comes out? Let's hope not. Maybe. <laughs> Let's hope not. I feel like, Speaking I feel like of. when you're moving, I've heard this, like it kind of rocks the baby to sleep. So when you're mm -hmm. going throughout your day and you're walking around, it kind of rocks them to sleep. Uh -huh. And then when you lay down, you're not like, rocking and they don't have that movement. So then they're like awake and like We need to get like a water bed. So it's like, we're still yeah. moving around. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, you just need to sleep in like one of those mama roos. Yeah, <laughs> they make it for babies. It's like, oh, they should make something for us. Yeah. I want to be rocked to sleep too. Yeah. 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 What about you, Coletus? Um, Updates, I've been skiing a lot. I know, you're probably like, can do like flips and stuff. No. You no can do like flips and stuff. She's like a pro, <laughs> we're so behind. Well, you know, I did do it, no, just kidding. <laughs> no, I wish. I've been taking some lessons though. I heard my mom said that. Has it helped so much? Yeah, it really has. Because Shay taught me, and he's awesome, but he's been skiing his whole life, and so he doesn't really know. Like He's yeah. like, you just do it. And I'm like, I don't get it. <laughs> do what? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? And so they break it down for you a lot easier. Yeah. And um, so I'm getting better. And it is, it's, <laughs> it's like, yeah, I do want to have another baby. Okay, how do I time it around ski <laughs> season? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was feeling a bit like everybody, they had a snow day just barely, and I was feel, everyone was going skiing, and I was feeling like, <laughs> I wanna go skiing. <laughs> we should have to sit around. I know. <laughs> it was a little sad. 
you know, whatever. even though I'm not like a great skier. It was really fun it's when we all went fun. last year. Yeah. We can start again new. Yeah. Little Jackson, I'm like, you can strap the baby to you because you're way better at that than I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll go as a family. Yeah. I know. I've, I was looking forward to it this year because Winston's finally old enough and in daycare. And then I was like, nope. <laughs> not doing it again. And then I know the baby won't be in daycare by next year. So I'm like, well, maybe in a couple of years I'll ski. We'll see. Right. <laughs> I know. It's, I mean, it's not like I've been doing it. So I don't feel like I'm missing out. <laughs> <laughs> but there are things that as a mom, like you forget like, oh, I'm going to have to give up some things for yeah. a while. Yeah. Or yeah. do them Being drastically pregnant less. And then after pregnant and breast, like you're just tied down for Like it's not even a baby. You're tied down for a good like four years, you know? Yeah. I think the other day Jackson took Cooper up and Shay was up and Casey was up and you were home with Dax. You were home with Winston and Shay was like, one day we'll get all the girls up here. I'm like, rough life you dads must have. <laughs> we're just all home washing your dirty underwear. You're all skiing. I was not doing that. <laughs> like, Wait, I was like, like watching Netflix. <laughs> I've already watched up all my shows. I just got done watching The Blacklist. I, I love, love it. You. I started that but didn't ever. At first, like the first couple episodes are really corny, but then it gets so good. Mm -hmm. And then it kind of like, you know, goes like through that. I kept calling it web and flow and everyone was making fun of me. I guess it's ebb and flow. <laughs> What's the difference with a What's W and not? Ebb, web. Cool. <laughs> yeah, joke's on you. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, awesome. sorry. Oh, that's fine. Speaking of TV, that kind of leads into our topic today. So recently, a writer from SNL tweeted something, which I love SNL. It's hilarious. Cracks yes. me up. But I guess the writer tweeted something about Donald Trump's son, Barron, and wasn't very nice. And it made me think, like, what is, you know, on the news they said in the the president's children are usually left out of the public eye. Like they purposely yeah. try to leave them out of the public eye. And I thought, what do you, what do you guys think about that? Like as far as, you know, children or presidents or even any children of anyone, like on social media, <clears throat> we need to be careful, right? Yeah. yeah. I just always think what kind of an adult feels like they need to attack a child yeah. in any circumstance on social media or in real life? Like what kind of a grown adult has to pick on a child? Yeah. Like, what does that say about the adult? I think that um, if you guys don't know what we're talking about, there, the tweet was, I don't, I'm not quoting it word for word, but it was basically saying that Baron Trump was going to be the first at home school shooter. So I think that her, the standpoint of the joke was supposed to be for how terrible Donald Trump is and that mm -hmm. that's, he's so bad that that's what's going to cause his son to do that which is very morbid. And I don't yeah. appreciate that kind of humor, especially when it's bringing in children. And secondly, where has this person been living where they haven't heard about what America and outside of America is going through with guns and violence and school shootings? It's, it's not funny in any case, yeah. whether it's about Donald Trump and you hate him or not, that's a terrible joke. When is, I just feel like when has murder been ever funny? Something that anybody should joke about. And then to bring a child into it mm -hmm. is just gross and like almost perverted and low. Yeah. Even if you hate the parent that bad, I just, and then to do it on social media where this, this person has a platform, I'm like, you're getting paid to write funny comedy. You obviously suck at your job. <laughs> if you think that that's funny, I would fire you on the spot. Yeah, she was suspended, which is good. Um, I think that it's so crazy how people are just digging in and trying to find anything. And I know that that happens with politics, yeah. but they're just digging into anything. Like mm -hmm. they were, I oh my read gosh, articles. She stepped with his left foot. That means. Yeah, well, I read articles where people were talking bad about him because he's homeschooled, but then in all reality, he's not homeschooled. Like yeah. it's just like people are out of control right, right. now. Yeah. And it's just not fair. Like he didn't choose for his father to run for president. Right. He didn't, you know, he didn't choose to have you know to be in the spotlight spotlight like he is and it's just not fair like leave yeah. the kids out of it yeah I don't know I I honestly when I was when I heard about it I was like honestly people say horrible stuff about our kids you know in the comments and the vlogs and I thought you know is that me as a parent mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. am I endangering my child by like putting them out there and and it just made me feel like I feel like as a society, when we attack anybody online, whether it's a child or an adult, um, which, you know, social media has a tendency to like the ebbs and flows of it. Like there can be like more hate thrown at somebody if they say a specific thing or whatnot. Like I, I get that, but what are we doing? Like when we're like typing out what we're gonna say in a comment or we're thinking in our minds, oh, that person, this and this and that, like what are we doing to each other? Like right. it doesn't, help the world. Yeah. 
yeah. I know I'm sounding like peace on earth, goodwill to men, but it just <laughs> feels that way. Like, come mm -hmm. on. And especially a child, like I do want I want to teach my children, like be resilient. Like you're going to have to be resilient no matter what, like whether you're online or just in school or your friends or whatever, you're going to get hate. You're going to get stuff thrown out that you, that is not going to be cool. And you're going to have to know yourself and love yourself enough to take it with a grain of salt. Mm -hmm. right. And so I, I do want to teach them that. But as a society, what are, what are we doing? Like, think about it. Before you type a mean tweet, especially while the world is like in this, or this America is in like this upheaval of like new president and all this right. stuff. And I know mm -hmm. there's so much surrounding it that is like, you know, opinions and whatever, and you're entitled to that. But let's think about as a whole, what are we doing to right. each other? I feel like it just boils down to to communication. I mean, seeing the riots happening in the streets, that's not protesting, that's a riot. Mm -hmm. You know, people breaking windows and buildings and burning trash cans. I'm like that, it doesn't matter if you hate the president, I don't understand how that is a form of healthy communication. To me, that looks like a child throwing a fit. Mm -hmm. If you don't get your way, you're gonna burn something or break something or ruin a business that may not even support our president. Mm -hmm. I was just really appalled by that. And then hearing about this, you know, this writer from this skit. And I just think that honestly, communication goes such a long ways. And I think people don't know how to be vulnerable with their true feelings mm -hmm. rather than standing out in the street and saying, I'm afraid for Donald Trump being our president because I don't agree with any of his methods. And I, you know, and, and expressing themselves in a vulnerable way, it comes out as anger. Mm -hmm. And so I think that everyone does have a right to express their opinion, but it should be healthy and it shouldn't infringe on the rights and the safety of anyone else, which burning things is not safe and attacking a building or a business that has nothing to do with you or the president is not a healthy way of communicating. And it just goes to show that you aren't at that mature level to communicate in a proper way. Yeah. Cause I, if you want to protest, I think that that, that they can have a huge remark and a huge, um, they can make a difference if they're done in a healthy, peaceful, educated, emotionally, like healthy is the only word I can keep coming back to way. But I just feel like with everything going on, I'm seeing so many things that I'm like, this reminds me of eight year olds, five year olds mm -hmm. throwing tantrums and not getting their way. Yeah. So they use words that, you know. Yeah. And it's nothing new. And I think that that is how everyone is justifying their actions. Like, well, this happened when Obama became president and this yeah. happened when this happened. Like, it's just not okay though. Like, yeah, it wasn't okay then. And it's not okay now. We need to come together. That is what everyone wants more than anything is for our country to come together. We're so divided in so many different ways. Mm -hmm. And this whole country seems to be fighting mm -hmm. for unity, yet we're separating ourselves from each other right. in every single way. Right. And it just doesn't make sense to me. I think what it comes down to too is, is that fear versus faith mm -hmm. concept. Like mm -hmm. most people are lashing out out of fear. And I think there is a way like this is a country where you can speak your mind and yeah. and say how you feel but you don't need to do it in a I'm better than you and you're right and I'm wrong type of way but like this is how I feel how do you feel like we got to be able to communicate in a better way and stop being afraid because you know yeah. you can't change things <laughs> like right. there are some things that yes you do have a voice and you should speak up with your voice but accept that other people have a voice as well and it was and, and have protect, faith in it protect the people that aren't even being like involved like his son that's 10 years old or like leaving rude comments about our children you know that's like the thing that will set me off on mama bear mode the fastest is when mm -hmm. i read something about cooper who was like innocently playing in the background and somebody says something mean about him i'm like i will be that person that i don't want to be that i was just <laughs> giving a lecture about because it brings you to that vulnerable place of you know, emotional, like you're being emotionally raw, especially when our children are exposed like that. Mm -hmm. But I just think it comes back down to like everybody, I feel like on social media, there's a great majority of people who just want to be heard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they just want to feel like their opinion matters. And while it does, just remember that you can do so in a positive, uplifting way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even if you don't agree with like a lot of the things going on, I still believe you can like be a stand for change without being cruel and I don't, I, I don't even dare say anything these days because I feel like it's always mm -hmm. unpolitically correct or Walking I'm just a show. Trump lover, which I, people don't even know who I voted for. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, I want, I just want peace for everyone. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it's so hard to have a platform because it's, you can't say anything without getting attacked anymore. And mm -hmm. it's just not even worth it. I feel like. Yeah. 
I know I'm always surprised by people who speak up because they always get attacked in the comments yeah. no matter what, no matter what they're standing up for. And I just can't imagine, I, I'm the same. I'm like, I don't want to say anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's scary to be vulnerable. And I think that's how most people are. It's like we either put up an angry wall or we put up, you know, a yeah. stone wall or, you know, whatever it is. We have these um, comfort places that we go to instead of just being like, you know what, I genuinely am scared about this. But, mm -hmm. you know, there's a point in time where we need to rely on faith instead of fear and stop letting that control our actions because you know we can continue being angry as a society right. or mm -hmm. you know and, and you, tearing each other down but where is that going to take us mm -hmm. um i was just reading in one of <laughs> gabby bernstein's books i can't remember which one because i'm reading eight at the same time but <laughs> she talks about like women and how women have such a tendency to do that like we get so excited to watch these shows where we're tearing each other apart and yes like reality tv shows. yeah like reality tv shows and she thought what are we doing that's what we're doing kind of as a country right now it's like we're all in this together we all want the same things right you know in general we all want peace and happiness for our family and a good future for our children and and you know a prosperous country and all those things and though we all have different ideas of how we're going to get there we need to stop tearing each other down because that's not going to get us anywhere but where we don't want to be, right. is my opinion. Yeah. That's very true. There you go. Yes. It reminded me of something Renee Brown talked about in her book when she's like, even the perfect people, we judge them. She was like, we had, they had just, she had talked about how her family had just started going to this new church. Mm -hmm. She was like, literally the Von Trapp family was sitting in front of us. There was like the husband and the wife and they were like beautiful and immaculate. And then they had like these little girls who had like the stitch work dress and like the leather shoes and the lace socks. And they were just like sitting there quoting every verse from the Bible. Like, and she was like, and I'm back here, like mumbling half of the words. I don't know what the pastor's talking about. Cause I don't know if I agree with everything. And you're just like <laughs> laughing cause you can relate like, you know, yeah. and there's this like family and they're just like sitting there perfectly. And you're like hitting your kids trying to make them listen and be spiritual like, be spiritual listen be reverent. you know and then there's this family it's like huh ah. and she's like even the perfect people we judge them we're like well what's wrong with them yeah how did they do that they probably beat their children mm -hmm. she's like so no matter what you do you know right. people are not going to accept you so you just have to like i don't know but i thought that was such a good point like even if you were perfect people still aren't going to accept you anymore they'll judge you even then mm -hmm. you know True. i think the hardest part about it is people will judge you because they're really not happy with yeah. who they are. Yeah. And that's where it comes down to is like being able to love yourself and forgive yourself and you know, yeah. accept yourself the way you are <laughs> allows you to accept other people. It's that yeah. meme of that guy in the street with the chicken and he's like, love yourself. <laughs> love yourself. <laughs> Have I ever showed you guys that? I think so. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. He's like in his underwear. <laughs> we just need to Venice? play that on loop. It looks like he's on the streets of New York. He's in oh, like really? underwears and I'm has sure a rubber chicken. Yeah. <laughs> and he's just in boots quoting and singing that and you're just like, yes, it's true. <laughs> I also think if you're like, if you're in a good place for yourself, you don't care what people think. I don't yeah, care if people true. judge me, like judge away. I, I mean, it's cool. I, mm -hmm. I agree with that, but at some, for some reason it always like bothers me. I'm like, well, what did I do? Like maybe it's just the people pleaser in me. I'm like, well, what did I do to upset you for you to call names? But you have to like get to that point where you realize it's like, it's not you. Mm -hmm. You could be perfect yeah. and people will still have something bad to say. And you're like, cause I'm like perfect and people still say bad <laughs> things about me. I'm definitely the one at church, a mess. <laughs> A dang mess just carrying my screaming child out and my dress is falling off my shoulder. <laughs> We've all been there. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, if you just try your hardest not to judge yourself then. And I loved when um, we talked about like our New Year's resolutions and we talked about like wanting to have dinner together as a family or working on just our family unit I think makes such a big difference. People want to protest and march and I understand that. But we are responsible of teaching our children their own worth. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like letting them know that they're important. I think, it, I mean, of course you want the world to show your children that too. But I think that we forget how important our home and yes. our family life is. And I think that if we work really, really hard on that, then that can make such a difference too. So spot on. Like if you teach your children not to talk bad about other people, they're not going to write crazy things on Twitter about other people. Like, well, doesn't it seem like everyone's trying to change everybody else, but nobody wants to change <laughs> right? themselves? It's yeah, like, I'm going to tell you what you should believe in and how you should mm -hmm. feel, how you should think. But it's like, they don't even have control over themselves. So instead of trying to control all these outside influences and forces, like you said, like start from 
what you can, yeah. which is your home, your family, your yourself. friends, and yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, that's it for our episode today. A lot of opinions, a lot of thoughts. We would just love, love to know. Love everyone. Yes, just <laughs> love, love everyone, yourself. please. Love yourself first. <laughs> and then leave a comment below what your thoughts are. And Only if they're nice, though, okay? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Freedom of speech, but be nice. Spread love. <laughs> All right, as always, like, favorite, share, subscribe, and we love to know your comments. So we'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.